It could be anybody's night. That's the popular sentiment as exhibitors get ready for the hotly contested Arabian Hunter Pleasure Championship Thursday at U.S. Nationals in Tulsa. Anybody's game out there, anybody can win, and whoever has the best ride hopefully is the winner. Three of the top contenders, Cynthia Berkman and B.F. Vittorio, Wendy Potts and V.J. Berriens, and Laurie Long and Court Martial P.A. Berkman and Vittorio collected two firsts and a third from the judges in the second cut and have each racked up quite a few championships. He won last year. He won the amateur here. He's actually won the amateur the last two years. Um, he's just a great horse. He's big. He's bold. He's got a great trot on him. Big, huge canner. Very steady. Wears his ears great. He's just a cool horse. Potts and Berrians are also in the spotlight, having picked up two seconds and a third from judges in the second cut. I look, but I don't, because you just got to go in and ride the class. Whatever, whatever happens, happens. And are hoping to keep the lines of communication open for a seamless ride. Great mover. For the most part, good boy. We'll see. He's He does have um, amateurs and juniors that ride him. So sometimes that interferes just a little bit because I try to remind him that it's me, but he doesn't always remember. And rounding out our list of top contenders, Long and Court Marshall, a youth horse who's already exceeding her expectations. He's been national champion at youth. We didn't know for sure if he would be an open horse. This is the first time that I've been able to show him because he's been so busy with the kids. And so we thought we'd take him for the Hunter Open in the lady side saddle. And he's proven to be an open horse so far. They're also turning heads with a first, second, and fourth on their judges cards after the second cut. I got an easy horse. He's going to be, he's going to walk, he's going to be really good. It's just going to be up to the judges now. At seven sharp, the championship begins with the announcer ushering everyone in. With 15 polished entries, we're reminded it truly could be anyone's championship. <laughs> But as the evening proceeds, it's narrowed down to 10, including each of the top three contenders we met earlier. And finally, a decision is made. The reserve champion goes to Lisa Monaghan Powell and Monteleone LOA. We've had a really good day today, so I kind of fed off that, and I didn't get myself worked up. And it, you know, you go in there, that's there's great horses in there. It was just exciting, you know, and it was it was fun and. My horse went good, and that made it even better. <laughs> and the championship awarded to Cynthia Berkman and B.F. Vittorio. The class was pretty good. He listened pretty well and went where I wanted him to go and, you know, had his looks and put his ears up and did his job, and he was pretty content out there, so I was happy with that. Racking up yet another win, a decision each of the judges agreed on. It is exciting and thrilling to win, and it's a great class, and there are so many good horses. Any of us could have really won that class, and for mine to win unanimous was pretty cool. From the U.S. National Arabian and Half-Arabian Championship Horse Show in Tulsa, Sarah Lane, ClubEquestrian.com.